hello everyone this is 101 and today we are going to talk about how to fix your PC a laptop when it has no USB driver no CD drive or internet connectivity and I mean we are going to add all these functionalities to your PC uh, by not having them yes first of all uh, there are two methods and first of all we are going to talk about the first one and uh, you'll need a USB stick and a friend's PC I guess if you have another PC at home that's working then it will do too in case you don't you can go to a friend's house that has uh, who has an internet connection you can take your USB stick with you and then you can uh, log on to his computer you need to open Google and you need to type Ubuntu ISO file uh, it will show you this link click on the download and there it is the download button as soon as you hit the download button there will be an ISO file that will be downloaded it will be called the Ubuntu ISO uh, whichever version it is the latest uh, currently it is 16.04.2 LTS and it will be downloaded and next you what, what you need to do is create a bootable USB using that ISO file I'll leave a link in the description that will show you how to create the bootable pen drive uh, and that's it's not the not that of or big of a deal and what you need to do next is you need to restart your PC and uh, click on the boot menu work key uh, it is different for each laptop or computer currently I am running on HP pavilion G6 so my boot menu button is F9 you can google what's the boot menu button or what's the boot menu key on your PC by typing in the uh, Google, typing in, in Google like whichever version of a model of a PC is for HP pavilion G6 boot menu key here it is it will show me that F9 keys to reset the BIOS, F10 keys in to enter the BIOS and F11, F10 is to save the BIOS. So I'm gonna click on F10 as soon as I restart and it will take me to the BIOS setting. I'll check the boot menu setting and I'll click on the USB and make it their first priority. I'll leave the link in the description and it will help you out. Next what you need to do is uh, boot with Ubuntu, I mean boot with pen drive. And you'll see a menu that will look just like this. The first option is try Ubuntu without installing and that is what we need. We don't need to install Ubuntu permanently, we just want to use it temporarily so that we can download the drivers. So you need to click on try Ubuntu without installing and as soon as you install it and I mean install it but it won't actually install it will just be temporarily installed and you'll see something like this and this is the Ubuntu try without installing. It has everything, it has the USB drivers, it has the internet connectivity you can switch on your internet Wi-Fi anything and you can download your drivers using this Mozilla and then you'll save the drivers into your hard drive that has the windows installed yes it would be the same hard drive as yes, you have installed this temporarily Ubuntu in your old, old, old OS PC it won't harm your OS and it won't do anything it will just be saving the files into the hard drive what you need to do is you need to open this uh, or C drive or whatever drive it is for you and you, you need to go into program files or program files x86 and you need to paste your driver file here uh, then almost everything is done now you need to restart your computer again remove the pen drive this time don't boot from the pen drive and now you need to go back to your old operating system as soon as you get into your old operating system log in and you need to go to the same folder that you have saved the driver into you know I'll go into C drive x86 and I'll find my driver around here I'll just double click install it and I'll have my driver all set up so in case you need drivers you have to go to here and uh, you'll be typing whichever driver you need and that's it uh, and the second method of course is you can uh, take out the hard drive from your PC and plug it into someone else's PC that is working and you can download the files and paste it into the hard drive but this method helped me a lot uh, just install Ubuntu we try in Ubuntu without installing download the files copy the files into your hard drive and go back to your own lowest thanks for watching I hope this helped if this helped uh, leave a like subscribe if you like and uh, if you need some more videos or help do leave a comment thank you